wanted me to say something? Alright, alright, I'll say something. What are my thoughts on Jericho? I looked at one of my favorite bands, Facebook's Stained, and for a tour they were headlining, they had a poster showing a lot of bands that were going to be in tour with them in late August through September. And one of those bands I noticed was Fozzy, which their lead singer is none other than Chris Jericho. So now here's my video thoughts on Y2J. Just because. Now, Y2J hasn't won a pay-per-view this year. He's lost every pay-per-view. Which isn't that much of a surprise considering that Y2J does do that a lot. He's not a jobber, but he does give the other guy his due. In this case, it's not like he's jobbing out to anybody like back in the day where he would job out to JTG, MVP, and basically these guys that have no business, even Evan Bourne, being with a Jericho. Because when Evan Bourne got his push, then Randy Orton buried him, and he went back to square one. Which is, by the way, an interesting thing to think about. Like... It's interesting to think about how. Let's see, how should I say this? There's these smart marks that. Being a smart mark is basically an oxymoron. But they like to cheer for the underdog or who they instinctually see as the underdog. Because. While those preteens and kids that like the franchise players like John Cena, that's a very infantile uh, instinct of the human being to cheer for the franchise player. However, the underdog is another more adolescent instinct to cheer for. It's just ridiculous how even these smart marks, who I'm just going to call them stupid marks. Because it means the same thing as dumb, but they're different words. So I would just call, call the Cena fans dumb marks and the punk fans stupid marks. And by the way, Cena fan, punk fan, it's just a generalization. I'm gonna use. But that aside, Jericho's actually putting in over some interesting people that do have an actual future on a WWE. Like Seamus, Ziggler, and Punk. The ones I dislike just being Seamus. And try to think about this in a way where I can try and justify what I don't like because I understand that the WWE has its reasons and Jericho has his reasons to put other people over instead of actually winning at least one pay-per-view even a filler one would be against a nobody would make me happy where he wins <clears throat> However, I can't justify one. That's the thing. There's nothing to justify. Because Jericho and WWE are better off having him put other people over. Trying to give everybody else a better name. I mean, Jericho has ascended all accolades, right? It's not like he can ascend one more accolade, right? Well, not really. But that's what everyone else is assuming. I'm not going to assume that, but let's just play the benefit of the doubt and say that that's the scenario. And we just got to focus on next generation shit like that. Which I don't mind doing. But... 
doing it this way with us Y2J fans and Jiraholics not getting our day, that just stings. Because I like the Jericho character. He's cocky and arrogant, which is basically the generic heel persona. You're either cocky or arrogant or you're sociopathic. In this case, Jericho is cocky and arrogant, but instead of having to have somebody fawn over him like a Dolph Ziggler, fans already do that for him, whether he's a face or a heel. So there you go. And he's pulled that character off for about 13 years in the WWE. And it's worked, so why stop it? Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is give the man one final victory. One final victory at a pay-per-view before you send him off so that he can continue his touring, touring for Fozzie, which, by the way, I know they're going to put on a great performance. Either way, just do that. I'm sure that Dolph Ziggler isn't going to get hurt from a defeat. And either way, Edge was facing main adventures when he had the money in the bank and he lost. Then they gave him his victory by cashing in the money in the bank. And he's been better ever since. Same with Brian. Nowadays, people don't complain about Daniel Bryan's mic skills, and they're putting him on matches against Wade Barrett, where he lost. They're putting him on matches with Mark Henry, and he lost. But then we finally cashed that shit in. Ever since then, he's been considered a contender. He's even been considered a contender, theoretically, to face Rock at the Royal Rumble. I mean, he made that clear. So, at least give Jericho this one victory. I know that Ziggler is the underdog and people are considering him a future contender, and he is a future contender. But give my man one final victory before he goes on tour. Tour. Tour, 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 tour. That's fucking stupid. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Well, actually, if you enjoyed the video or not, it doesn't really matter to me. Peace out, man.